Hey everybody, welcome back to Bar Run Forge. It's Troy here, no. and we've got a new no. video for you. Oh, okay, all right. It's my turn. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Monday morning tool video. Today we are going to be working on flat jaw tongs from Blanks, and it's my turn in the shop. So stick around and we'll show you how to make these. We're going to be making flat jaw tongs from Blanks. We're going to be taking these blanks and easing down the edges of the reins, drawing those out to where we like, where they fit comfortably in the hand, and then easing the, the corners off, making them round so they fit comfortable. And then we'll be taking the bit of the rein, and, or the bit, excuse me, and turn that, and then we'll adjust it to size. The first step we're going to take and ease these corners off, and like I said, just make it feel comfortable. You can do this however you'd like to make it fit most comfortable for your hands and how you're going to be working them. Okay, for the next part, we're going to take the bit and heat it up just right here. And we'll take it over to the vise, clamp it down in the vise, and then we'll do a quarter turn and make sure we do those same way on both pieces. That way they match up on the opposite side whenever we go to put them together. go we took a L ruler and marked out our center part there and we're gonna center punch now on the diagonal where that sits you can line this up here and 
and check your center punch. Do that one more time. And there you have it, there's a the center punch. And we'll do the same to the other one and then we'll go over to the drill press and drill those out. Now that we've got our holes drilled out, we're going to take this countersink bit and just knock that little burr off and that'll also help whenever we put the rivet in to make the tongs slide easier together. We're going to go ahead and rivet this together. We're going to take our quarter inch rivet here and push that through. And then we're gonna take this little rivet head tool and stick that in here. Keep that and basically just work this cold with a ball peen hammer and kind of hit around on either side and you'll mushroom that out to the side to hold that in. Now that we've got that riveted, we're going to take and heat the bits back up and then we'll get a piece of stock where we want it to fit and we'll heat these up and then we'll clamp this down to fit that piece of stock. Get it close. So now what we're gonna do is take this piece of stock and hopefully get it fit up to that. And squeeze it down on the vise. We have completed our flat jaw tongs. We'll test them out here on a little piece of flat stock that we specifically work them to. I think that holds pretty well. So we, uh, we still got a little bit left of um, just refinement work. We'll file down these edges a little bit, make them smoother and nicer to work. But other than that, they work out great. As always, we have a biblical message reference that we're going to do afterwards. And today we're doing Colossians 3.23. It says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord and not for human masters. So with these tongs, the goal is to always, or any tool that you're working in the shop, is to always work with diligence. Always work to the best of your ability and to the best of your craft to make the piece that you have the best possible, as we see in Colossians as if we're working for the Lord. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care and God bless.